How are you? Did you hear? That is... Is dead. Is it played?
never needed a life with a house with walls and a roof. Here is where a man can be. Well, first off, you should find someone a little more well informed than me. Krulgarin's the camp leader. I'd chat with her. Always open for business when the road is your marketplace. Are you looking to buy items or sell them? Always looking to make a bit of... Coin. Nice to see you, my child. I hope all is going well for you this day. I have a request, a selfish one, but if you have any spare time? From what I hear, it may be home to some of the best thieves around. I am probably not the most worldly man, but I know enough to be on alert when I pass their camp. So much of the world around us is made of things we can look at, but never see. St. Edrix wants to show us a way to see those things, the meanings in them that go far deeper than their facade. They are a system of caves running through Haxi, said to have a hidden exit that holds a treasure on its cliff, if it can be found, that is. A dense and magical forest, home of the traveler's camp, and a place to find lodging or goods if you have need of it. I came to St. Edric's to find peace. Peace and a place to study. It's quite scenic, and nature's beauty has always helped me think better. Puts my mind at ease. Well, it's Brother Padrick. He's a friend of mine. He left about a year's time ago in search of adventure. 
Said the monk's life was too bland for his tastes. He mentioned hearing about a treasure only found through a hidden exit from Split Rock Depths, that he might find it if he camped in Haxi for a bit. But such a long time has passed and no word from him. I'm terribly worried and I thought you might, well, you could check up on him for me. Mitharu's blessings upon you, child. Bless you. Thank you so much. My mind is already at ease knowing you would take on this charge. If it helps, I would begin your search at Split Rock Depths. It is the only place he had mentioned by name. He was always looking for more adventure than St. Edric's could offer him. This made him an ambitious man. When he spoke of traveling and seeing more of these lands, there was always a sparkle in his eye. The man was such a dear friend, he even asked me to go with him. I owe no such ambitions for myself. Towards Haxi and into Split Rock Depths, begin your search for him there. Good day. Stranger, we embrace all those who are open to Matharu's neck. <laughs> Myth, we at St. Edric celebrate the authority's natural gifts, such as the beasts.
Welcome to St. Edric's. Welcome to St. Edric's. You're here to meet with Father Etair, yes? The Father's always playing host to interesting individuals such as yourself. His quarters are on the second floor of the Mission Bunkhouse. Most of his days are spent inside working on his research. I don't understand a word of it. Our goal, as set forth by St. Edric, is to find the order in nature, in every blade of grass and curling leaf. For these designs are the authorities most beguiling. This mission was established 20 years ago. The gardens and fauna pens were Father Etair's idea. He marveled at Mitharu's gifts, the magic in the world around us. The authority is the one true father to all humankind. It is by his grace and order that we are able to survive the trials of this world. He tests us in all that we do. It dried up several months ago, so we sent several brothers down to try and find some deeper reserves. Father Etair had great interest in Mitharu's natural splendors. He volunteered to lead the project, with Wolf by his side, of course. I'll admit that the eastern lands are beautiful in their own way. Like Dalentarth, the forests and swamps are ruled by fey folk, but a far more sinister variety. Clericon should be seen, but I advise that you wait until after the war passes before you pay your ship's passage. I know only what I've seen from this hill. The fey are a wild race, inspired by the intimacy with the natural world. We at the mission marvel at this relationship. Occasionally, Father Etair would play host to a visiting summer court fay, but I know nothing of the meetings, except that many of the brothers frowned upon them. Five years in the swamps of Clericon was enough to rid me of my lust for war. I was an impetuous youth, raised by the back of my father's right hand. But I found home here with the others. All we seek is a sliver of peace in this vast world. No, I, I knew that they were arguing, but I never imagined that it would lead to... to murder. It's enough to make a man question his faith. Father Etair and his apprentice brother Wolf, they were inseparable, like a true father and son. It was a shared love of alchemy that brought them together. But since their work repairing the village well, they've been acting tense, even hostile. Just this morning, I saw a tear fetching water. But now he, he's gone. Mitharu, save us all. You're free to search the bunkhouse. Please, if you can shed any light on this tragedy, we'll do all we can to assist you. In another life, Wolf was a butcher in Galafor. He's a naive sort, and his gifts do not lie in prayer. But Father Etair believed that Wolf had been called. Farewell.
stay back. I don't know who you are or how you found me, but you will not have the crystals. They are mine. Don't make me kill another. I lost my true father in the mines of Apatir. In many ways, a tear took his place. It taught me to respect hard work, discipline, and blessing of order in a chaotic world. They radiate a strange, wild magic, a force that can cause change, or even destruction. The witch wishes to use the crystals to corrupt other types of magic. That was my name, yes, but it means nothing now. Not after everything I've seen, everything I've done. I'm a cursed soul now. Mitharu has chewed me up and spit me out. I had no choice. He was trying to destroy the crystals. He didn't understand that we'd been chosen, that the crystals wanted us to possess them. The strange woman was right. She knew the crystals' power. That's why she wanted them. But we told her nothing. When she left, Father dropped the crystals back into the well. But they sang to me, told me to kill him and rescue them. Their voices... Uh, so beautiful. I... I... Oh, Father Ritter, what have I done? I never meant anyone harm, especially not the Father. Please, you must help me destroy the crystals, stop the corruption. My whistle may help you find them. I use it to speak to the crystals, sing to them. I am not a bad man, just a weak one. I will pay for this sin for the rest of my life, however long I wish that to be. Go!
Don't just walk with your damned eyes shut. Found your way to Castel and Delfric, I see. Shall we begin? Or should we stand around until my hair grows grey? We're fighters for hire. There are none better with steel, swinging it, or shaping it. And none held in higher regard. Shieldring, the oldest home to the Warsworn, in the Feylands at least. Beasts of pure chaos, or so I've been told. No mortal eyes have beheld them in hundreds of years. Not around here at any rate. The ruins are full of boggarts and sprites. Thieves too, sometimes. We'll get to the bottom of this trouble soon enough. That's you. Show me what you can do, and you'll make pledge shield soon enough. There was another named Ohm. This name was to be feared. The name is death, decay, and violence. A cold Don't and Don't stare at your moment. feet. Well? Right. Now listen up. The job today is to find out who, or what, has been attacking caravans along this road. Our hunt starts from here to the fork in the road. Fan out and move quickly. Look for any clues then gather at the fork. On my word, go! Eyes peeled! Spread apart now! You go that way. I'll go by the road. What are we looking for? Thieves? Blood? I don't see a damn thing!
Where's Curran? Where's Curran? Cur We've only just set out and already down one. Pathetic. Anyone see anything? No sign of the attacker. <sighs> Moving on. Turn east and across the stream. Up to the steps of the old ruins. Go! Eierling Crand is dead. Whatever, whoever it was, got him. Let him lie for now. I want the rest of you to be prepared. Weapons out, eyes sharp. We get some action today, maybe more than you bargained for. Look! Sharp! Did you hear something? Oh. <laughs> 
We've lost a second, but I caught a glimpse of it this time. Whatever or whoever it was went into the ruins. Steady now. Weapons ready. And follow me. I... I don't know. Big as a man, at least. Just... just be ready. And keep your eyes open! Garu, in Dalentarth. Where the hell did they come from? Never mind that. We've got to track them down. Hmm. I suppose the dead deserve better than nothing. We mourn the fallen, hireling. Give me a moment and a bit of space. We honor our fallen hirelings, true to their oaths, they died to a foe, and so their deaths shall be. Uh, what's the use? They knew the risk. Let's get going. Strike me down if those weren't Niskaru. We'll make a war sworn of you yet. Through here. See? Scuff marks here. Yes, it's this way. Brigand Hall Caverns, of all the rotten holes they had to crawl out of. Well, hireling, the patrol's done. Here's your pay. You've made it this far. I'm going to find out what brought those things to Dalentarth. Come with me, and you might just make Pledge Shield. I drove ne'er a red hand out of these caves myself. That was years ago. Before that, Tyne Delfric waded in 
after Gareth Rill. Some cut purse or another is always trying to make a name for himself in Brigand Hall. Now that's what I like to hear. We'll make a war sworn of you yet. Now, by Eamon's oath, we're going in. Now, stay close. Now, what do we have here? Ah, yes. Brings back memories. Brigand Hall's earned its name. It's a notorious thieves' den. The path ahead will be littered with traps. Beyond that door there, You'll want to watch every step. First, we need to get that door over there open. Uh, give me a moment to think. Now, what was the trick to this door? Not a key. This is where the traps are thickest. You go around and throw the lever on the other side, and mind the traps. See the bodies up ahead? Thieves, most likely. Looks like the Niscaro got to them. This 
place has always lured thieves. Here they are, dead and Niskaru in their place. But why? There's the question. You lead from here. I've got to think. Every bit as vicious and deadly as the old stories say. Small wonder we hunted them to the ends of the earth. We scour every inch of these caverns, find where the Niskaru are coming from. And then, our swords put a stop to it. Come through this hall, and I'll see you earn Pledge Shield rank. You shall be sworn to war. One of the Order. Precious few boast that honor. Let's press on.
fine pledge shield. When What's this? Bloody mages? Not Balin's testament either. They must be the ones behind these Niskaru. That means they've got war sworn blood on their hands. Death worshippers. They're a bad lot. Not right in the head. Might try to summon a Niskaru, but. But this isn't them. Even they wouldn't do this. The shortest path to a Niskaru is with chaos magic. Powerful chaos magic. And to keep it from turning round and mauling you, more powerful magic still. Yeah. <laughs> 
Halogras by the winds of the black depths. Come forth! Come forth! Who dares? We are the Falangi. Oster Dur dead, I see. 
and so many hirelings too. We will mourn them. At least you somehow survived. Remarkable. In reward for your brave actions, I now solemnly declare you pledged of shield and sworn to war. Welcome to our order, soldier. It is a great honor. Now, this artifact you say brought forth the Niskaro? May I see it? Even as our coffers fill, our ranks stretched thin. This war, these times, have tested our mettle to the limit. Still, we have not wavered in our creed. A mercenary sells a sword without honor. The war sworn sell honor armed for battle. You are a pledge shield now. You are one of us. This keep is a home to you, and we are your sisters and brothers. Our dignity rests on your brow. We will mourn him, yes, and honor him too. He died in the line of duty. Why, this is the heart of Saibon. Aegon won this centuries ago. It should be locked in our ancient vault. How could it have been stolen from under our noses? This is a nightmare. Travel to Helmgard Keep and Erethel and investigate how this theft occurred. Speak to Gryan Shane, Helmgard's Castellan. The Castellan of Helmgard is an upstanding soldier. Seek his help in this matter, but remember that he is your superior. In centuries past, we were something else. Hunters of Niskaro. Heroes known as the First Sworn. Whenever they took any cursed artifacts and weapons of chaos, they stored them in that vault. But that was long ago, in darker times. Travel to Helmgard Keep in Erethel. Learn how the heart of Cybern was stolen, and by whom. Castellan Gryan Shane will help you. I would have sent Ost on this task. Honor his memory at pleasure. <laughs> Shield, brother. or a fight.
and sword? What? That's all? A little training would do you some good, I'd say. Old Oast dead? I cannot play dull. Greaves. Rusted? That all?
How are you? My father's got the cough. He's taken to bed. Can I help you? If you're buying goods in Dyden Hill, it's Cora Bannock you want. Tinder twig, which is easiest found in Ironhold Passage, and Scarwood Bark, which is found near the ruins in Northern Glendara Wood. Well, come back if you do. Hello. Tell me, stranger, have you seen a young man lost in these ruins? Maybe with two lovebirds who can't take their eyes off each other. When we lost Turin, Marga and Arain wanted to go off on their own. Fine by me, I knew what they were after. 
They weren't any help anyway. We thought we'd find peaceful ruins flowing with forgotten gold. No, it's just sprites and brambles and blathering fay. Did you meet that impossible fay droning on about flowers and seasons? I don't think he heard a word I said to him. I will not settle for the fate of common living. There is treasure in these ruins. I will find it and retire to the life of comfort I deserve. Yes, Turin, we were separated while exploring the ruins. I need to find him. I'm sure he's fine, but if you do find Turin, please send him this way. I need that damned scroll of his. My friends and I were separated while exploring the ruins. I especially need to find a young Almain named Turin. He has a scroll that I need. And if you do find him... No sign of Turin. What a night... Everything's ruined. Turin's lost and Jed has gone off. And Orain... Orain's been turned into an antelope. Orain went into those bushes. I heard a yell and saw a flash of light. Then an antelope came out wearing Orain's silver necklace. My grandmother told me about places like this. How sprites would ensnare young men and turn them into forest creatures. I just know that's what's happened to Orain, but he ran off before I could catch him. Please help me look for him. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done. The anti antelope, uh, Orain, I mean, he ran off north into the ruins. You have to find him. I wish we'd never listened to Jeddah. No treasure's worth this. To be honest, I don't really want to find treasure or be rich. I just want to settle down on a farm somewhere with a rain and raise lots of children. Why did he have to follow his friends to this cursed forest? He's my... well, you know. My mother said Varani's men's hearts forever wander, but not my Orain. Oh no. She never found her in? She won't be happy. See, he had the scroll, and uh, really, it's not my place to say. This was all Jetta's idea, all her fault. He ran north before I could catch him. I called and called, but he didn't come back. 